30 years after completing the interstate system, we're still building incredibly expensive new or widened highways that divide our communities, produce more congestion and pollution, and make it harder to get around in nearly every way. These costly, disruptive projects often get justified using some fuzzy math known as the value of time. And it's one of the most influential transportation measures you've never heard of. The value of time comes from official federal guidance for quantifying the time savings that new roads and lanes will supposedly produce. And here's how it gets used every day to justify the expense and damage of enormous highway projects. Here's St. Paul, Minnesota in the 1950s. This interconnected grid of streets gave everyone here tons of convenient options for choosing a route to get around. But in the 1960s, Interstate 94 was deliberately rooted through the heart of several predominantly black neighborhoods here, taking and bulldozing homes, businesses, and forever changing the community. It also severed at least eight of the north-south streets that once helped make local trips simple and short. When a state DOT is planning a project, whether a brand new highway like this or just adding a new lane somewhere, this federal guidance on the value of time dictates that they measure the time people inside a vehicle spend on a stretch of road now and then estimate how much time they'll spend on the same stretch of road after building the project. The estimated time saved gets converted to a monetary value to compare to the project's cost. But here's the first major flaw. Agencies typically only measure the speed of the vehicle trips here. The impacts to all other trips are typically ignored. Before I-94, there were scores of north-south streets through that area. But with the neighborhood now cut in half, your once simple trip to the grocery store, school, or doctor's office may have just become five minutes longer in order to save someone else a few seconds. The second flaw is that agencies don't even measure the distance of these trips. All they measure is travel time on an arbitrary segment. As long as they predict that vehicles will move slightly faster here, they declare with absolute certainty that the new road will save every one time. This practice of equating speed with saving time or getting somewhere useful is one reason why we drive further today because all our destinations are moving further apart. This drive to increase speeds and eliminate congestion at all costs is also how we justify demolishing all the things that made a destination worth visiting in the first place. Lastly, time also gets scaled to income. This means saving wealthier people time is worth more in the calculation, even if it comes at the expense of everyone else. Agencies are also allowed to claim ludicrously small time savings, as if saving anyone two to three seconds per day produces any actual economic benefits. Slip lanes are a great example of these flaws in practice. Adding these high-speed right turn lanes can be justified because of the fraction of a second they save for drivers. But these dangerous right turn lanes also send cars at high speed directly through marked pedestrian crossings where people walking expect a safe place to cross. In most places, the people walking are more likely to be low income or people of color, but the impacts on them are typically ignored in favor of saving drivers a few seconds. Our time absolutely is valuable, but this limited way transportation agencies are directed to measure time is fatally flawed ignoring certain trips, people, and their time. It's time for USDOT to repeal this measure and stop states from using it to justify expensive, damaging transportation projects that fail to save any one time. This is adapted from Divided by Design, which explains how low-income communities and people of color have been and continue to be disproportionately harmed by our approach to transportation. It examines the history of the Federal Transportation Program, but the mistakes of the 1960s interstate program are hardly in our past. The measures and standards in today's program, just like the value of time, were built on the same rotten foundation, and so we continue to divide and damage communities today. <laughs>